it's uh, Black Art 6 again. We're going to do another video. There is a request for editing a character, creating a custom loadout. So let's see what we can do there. I think I know what he wants. All right. So we're going to just go into the one I've been working on here lately. Okay, so what you want to do to create a custom loadout for a um, slot for somebody to choose in the faction selection or the loadout selection. Um, let's see, do I have any? I think I overrode all these. So I just want to. see something first. Um, op for US. Okay, we'll use a Russian. We'll use a Russian since I don't have any uh, thing overridden there. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find the character. Um, you can do this a couple different ways uh, to simplify things uh, for you. Um, Go to factions, uh, in this case, oh, tell you what, let's use uh, FIA because I don't have FIA used anywhere. So you go to your character. Now, in your characters, you have um, a base loadout one here. So let's find that right here. You got your base loadout. This guy is, as you can see, the base character. Um, with no clothes on and then this one is the base loadout so what you want to do is you want to override it or duplicate it it's up to you if you override it then you only have to reference the the name right here if you duplicate it you want to add something to the tail end of this like dupe uh, that tells you it's uh, a duplicate and then you have to reference that name to use it. So just depending on your situation and how you want to do it, um, we're going to use duplicate in this case. So then the next thing I do is I'm going to edit that uh, prefab. And you do this for all of them. Okay, this, this same procedure here applies. Uh, so let's say uh, you want to change the guy's identity, okay? You uh, don't like the way he looks, so you want to use a different identity. So you go to character identity, and you can see they're using head white and uh, base body. So let's say you want to make like an Asian uh, character. So you can change his head to Asian, and if you change his base body, you change it to Asian, there you go. There's your Asian character, or you can do black if you want, or you can do all white, whatever. Um, however, however you want to do it, it's up to you. Okay. Um, so that's that. Okay. Um, let's put them back to where we were. You can put a white head on a black body if you wanted to. Multiracial. Um, so to do the character though, the the loadout. You go to the loadout, um, you go to base loadout manager component right there, and you have all the components there. So if you want to change the helmet, you change the helmet. Um, let's make it, there you go, okay. And then you just do that for every, every slot that you want to change something on. So if you want to change the jacket and you want to give him, uh, what's this jacket? I haven't seen this one. Okay, that's a different jacket. All right. Okay, give him that one. Um, 
and yada yada okay you just go through now this is the base loadout so this will be applied to all the other characters um, and then what you do is you go into and you edit each character uh, that you want so we're gonna save this guy we just change it to a knit hat and we're gonna open we're gonna go back uh, actually we can do this we can just do it right from here so we go back to our characters uh, prefabs, characters, factions, Fia. Okay, so that's that guy. Now, what we're going to do is base loadout, and I'm going to select the uh, rifleman. Where's the rifleman? Select the rifleman. We're going to, we're going to, um, well, I got to do this first. Duplicate it. Okay, so now we have two dupes. So now we're going to open both of those at the same time. And you can see there, he's got he, he's got the same hat, but his, his jacket didn't change. Okay. So sometimes that change does not take place. And you'll have to go in there and edit that change. But that's how you do it. So that's that's the uniform side of things. Now, if you want to do the inventory, then you have to um, go down into the inventory of the character, and here is where you set what you want uh, for that character to be carrying. So in his pants, he's got these objects. In the jacket, he's carrying this. So if you do this drop down he's only got two articles of clothing on so if we switch that to jacket then that's going to be in the jacket and that's going to be in the pants and and that's just how you do it okay so set your equipment up here if we put a backpack on the dude um so uh probably quicker to just go backpack so here's the backpack. Um, I think they take the 70, put the backpack on them. He's got the backpack now. Then go to inventory storage management and we can change these to say uh, backpack. And now it's all gonna be in the backpack. All right, now deposit, all right, deposits it. If you, take the let's see that's a morphine injector that's that you see that the flashlight is attached so if you want to attach it to the article of clothing um you put it as a purpose equipment attach and that's how you do that okay so that should be enough there to um, get you going there you can see there's the flashlight attached so that's how you do your characters um, if you want to do the weapons, here's your grenade slots. So if you want them to have a um, HC grenade, uh, let's see. Okay, here just for example, that's now that's the blue four one, but we'll put that one in there. Um, he'll now have this grenade in that grenade slot. And then your hand weapon, same thing. Your your weapon slots, here's his main weapon. This is his slot two. Uh, so it says slot one, but remember they always start with zero. And on the display, on the GUI, it's labeled as one. So zero equals one, one equals two, or yeah. Zero equals one, one equals two, two equals three. So just remember that when you're putting these in here. And then this one here would be the secondary. So this would be his rifle, this would be the rocket launcher, and this would be the pistol uh, on that if you wanted to set that up, okay? And that's how you do that. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm not going to save any of this. Let's open our world up now. And 
so once you build that special character and you got it all tweaked out the way you want it uh, with the weapons and the equipment and you got the look right um, then you have to add it to your faction manager or, or your loadout manager so all you have to do there is you just go I always use loadout base um, loadout manager base gives you that option uh, to create custom loadouts so you've got loadout you got loadout uh, campaign loadout manager loadout manager base loadout manager editor uh, FFA free-for-all and then you got the US and versus USSR um, editor doesn't uh, well, it does. It actually does have these now. So editor has these, okay. Which I don't know why you would use that. Um, but base has nothing. So what you do is you create, and if you want to create your own, so if you're playing this on server or scenario, you want to create a faction player loadout, and then here you just call it uh, whatever you want. You know. Um, rifle man and then you point it to your character so these here um, which we just did so we can point it to him and then the image you can just grab you know a default image uh, let's see char and then um, grab whatever image you want out of here so usually I use the default for whatever closest I'm working for and then make sure you put in the faction Sophia you got to do that and then that will be your your loadouts uh, let me delete that and that's how you do customize the character you know put all the equipment on them and then generate uh, the loadout in the manager so what it will look like is this when he comes in this is the loadouts that I did whoops let's try something a little different here I'm spawning on camera position that's why I put me so I gotta I gotta change that. I'm, I'm doing a lot of work right now on this. So. That's why I did that. I gotta change my spawn. We don't want to spawn from camera position or play from camera position. Uh, we want to. So there, here's my here's my custom. Uh, these are all special forces ones that I created. So, and that's what it will look like. Your guy will be right in here when you created that rifleman slot. So, and then you pick and choose whatever you want. Okay, and that's how you do it. Thank you very much.